does this thing does this thing still work? I think I think I think so. Let's just give it a try. What's up my fellow humans and space cadets? My name is Carrie. You are awesome for giving me some time away. Yes, I have been away for some time. Uh, unfortunately, I was really sick. <laughs> Um, but I am much better now. Uh, if you are a member of my Patreon account, uh, then you all have seen this update already. Um, but I'm pretty much back to normal now. I still can't hear a ton out of my right ear. Still pretty clogged. So, you know, that's fun. Uh, but that's not uncommon for me. That'll probably take a couple more weeks to clear out still. But I am feeling much better, ready to make some content for you all because I have been very, very much missing the interaction with you. So I'm going to get the first one out of the way really, really quickly because it's going to spoil a few of the upcoming videos, or I guess I shouldn't say spoil, maybe tantalize <laughs> with some things that will be coming up uh, because the very first thing that I wanted to make but couldn't because I got sick and then I lost my voice, uh, which I still don't feel like I've got back 100% um, because I still tend to crack like a prepubescent 12 year old boy from time to time, but for the most part, it's fine. And like I said, it just sounds weird because I can't hear out of my right ear. Um, but regardless, I placed an order uh, from Van Ness Pens, uh, which is not somewhere I typically order from. But I decided to do it uh, because they had one item in particular that I've been trying to find in Canada, um, but I couldn't. I'm sure it exists somewhere, probably physically in a shop, uh, but I couldn't find it online anywhere. So I decided to place the order and out of all of the American retailers, uh, this was the only one that had it in stock at the time. And most American retailers don't even have this one in stock. So therefore I bought it from Venice Pens. I bought one pen, one notebook, and 1.5 inks. <laughs> So let's start with the notebook real quickly because that seems to be the thing that you all care the least about. Um, and that is this guy, pretty nondescript, um, not a whole lot looking at it. Uh, basically, this is the dominant industry notebook. I don't know a whole lot about it um, other than I got the lined version. Um, it has an 85 it's a5 86 sheets line note eight millimeters color white 87.9 grams um it says the takasago fountain pen note but on the website it said dominant industry um i meant to pick this up from wonder pens uh which is like my more local shop here in Toronto, but it was out of stock, so I decided to pick it up from them. Uh, and I did that not because I needed another notebook in my life, because I don't think any of us need a notebook in our lives, um, but I did it because I love Dominant Industry inks, um, and I thought it was really cool that they have a notebook. So that review will be coming up. Um, I have not decided yet whether or not I'm going to make that a Patreon special, uh, because notebook reviews don't do very well on YouTube in general, and my channel's been suffering, so. Uh, but spoiler, it does fairly well. There are some sticking points um, that is troublesome, but for the most part, she's all right. Uh, okay, so the half that I got was an ink. Um, and speaking of dominant industry, it is a dominant industry ink. Now, it's not something that I would typically go for because it is an orange. Um, and despite the fact that it's an orange, it is called Earl Grey Tea which is why I got it, because I have to, right? It's, it's in the name, I have to. Um, but it's not my usual cup of tea. Um, and it is pretty darn light. Um, I did swap it up in this notebook here. It's pretty orange and it's not my style, but I had to, I had to, I, ha I had to, I had to. So I did. Then the pen that I got, uh, which again, if you were um, on my Patreon account and if you did watch the, hey, I'm sick, I need your help video, <laughs> you will have seen a sneak peek 
of the pen that I purchased, and that is the Caveco Art Sport, um, which is their uh, acrylic version of their pen uh, with the built-in clip rather than the clip that you just slide over it. Um, I purchased this because I love Caveco Sport, as you all know if you've been following my channel for any length of time. Um, and I've never used an art before. I've tried their metal pens. Not really a huge fan of their metal ones. Um, I've tried like the aluminum, the brass, the copper. Not really my jam. Honestly, I just prefer their regular old, um, actually I have one here. Just their like, you know, regular plastic Caveco Sports. Um, but I decided to take the leap and get the art and I am not upset about it. Uh, I've been using it all week. Extra fine gold nib and I have it inked up with the ink that I'm going to show you in a moment. Um, so really have been enjoying this pen quite a bit. Uh, the tines were extraordinarily tight when I first got it but I have since solved that issue and I will talk about it when I do the formal review. Now as I mentioned the Honestly, sole reason why I placed the order at <laughs> Venice Pens was because they had a particular ink that I have been wanting to get for quite some time, and I just I couldn't find it. I I just couldn't get it, and I was like, "What the heck?" Well, I blame it on a fellow Patreon <laughs> member because she sent me two two samples. Of this ink um, and I believe if memory serves both of them were pretty full samples like four or more milliliters I'm pretty sure but I don't know because I've used them all <laughs> they are completely gone and I've talked about this ink before um, and it is an ink from KWZ it is a scented ink it is delicious ink It smells like coffee. It is so good, you guys. It's unreal. Like, it smells amazing. Now, does it smell like actual coffee? Mm, not really. It doesn't smell like a proper cup of coffee that you just brew. It smells like a sweetened latte, um, which technically is coffee, but it doesn't smell like, like the black coffee that you're probably familiar with. But I really, really like the label. It's just so neat and it does actually smell delicious. Uh, I did, again, ink it up in this notebook here, and it is the darker brown one. Um, it is fairly accurate. There's not a whole lot like super duper duper special about this ink in the sense of there's no shimmer, you know, there's no sheen. There is a pretty good amount of shading depending on the um, pen that you have it in. It will definitely go from a very light brown um, that sort of leans almost on the slightly more yellowish side, sort of like a Gerbon Le 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 yeah, um, if you've ever used that. Um, and then it can get really dark and saturated as well if you're in a super wet writer and it shades phenomenally phenomenally um and i just love it and it just smells so good <laughs> it smells so good and i smell it in my pen while i'm writing as well now like any scented ink once the ink dries onto the page you can't really smell it anymore so it's not like you could write a letter send it to somebody and then they would smell it it's more for your actual writing experience that you will then smell it and it's pretty strong, um, which I quite like. I quite like a lot. Um, I am a fan of scented inks. Most of them, to be fair, don't smell very good, but there are a few that do smell good. Mont Blanc James Pretty and Sons Single Malt, Mont Blanc uh, James Pretty and Sons Cigar, uh, obviously this one, so KWZ, It Smells Like Coffee. Um, See there, <laughs> my voice just cracked a little bit. Um, they, a, a good chunk of KWZ inks smell delicious, to be fair. Um, slightly vanilla-y-ish, um, but this one really takes the cake. Like I said, it's like a sweet, sweet latte is sort of what it smells like to me. Um, so that's what I ended up picking up. That ink, which is the reason why I 
made the purchase. Uh, Earl Grey, just for funsies, the Dominant Industry Notebook, and of course, the Caveco Sport, uh, Art Sport, rather. So I will do a review of the pen most certainly for you all. Let me know in the comment section down below if you have any interest really in the pen, or um, sorry, in the notebook or the ink, um, either of the inks to be fair. Uh, like I said, it will probably end up being a Patreon special um, because it doesn't do well in the YouTube algorithm. And I'm gonna try and play the game a little bit because I have noticed uh, basically, <laughs> not that I do this for the revenue, trust me, I don't because it is barely pocket change money, but uh, I'm down to about a third of what it used to be. So I'm going to try and just play the game for a little bit and see what happens. Uh, so if you're not subscribed, please do subscribe. <laughs> uh, check the link down below for the Patreon if you want to hop over there. Like I said, a lot of my things that I don't think are going to do well on YouTube, but I still want to make content for, I'm going to start putting up there. So check that out. Um, hmm, again, <laughs> cracking of the voice. Um, hit that like button as well uh, and drop a comment. Have you used any of this? Have you used this ink before? What do you think of scented inks? Do you have any that you love? Do you have any that you hate? I'm very curious. Have you ever smelled a scented ink that you don't like? Um, I really like, uh, I don't know if it's, if it's made anymore and I'm trying to remember what brand it is. I think it was, um, Gosh, Diatramentis. Uh, there's a frankincense one. Oh, and I have a Diatramentis Cola. That one smells really good too. Um, but I, I remember another one and I can't, I'm trying to remember what brand it was, but it was a floral scent and that was disgusting to me. Uh, shoot, it was like a yellowish color too, but I can't quite remember. But anyways, let me know in the comment section down below. If you're still watching 12 minutes in, you are the reason I make these videos. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.